Latest batch of Huma Aden emails allegedly reveal pay for play in Clinton State Department. 8, 2015. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton submitted a sworn declaration to the Department of Justice. In that statement, she said that she had turned over 55,000 pages of emails and that she had made sure to include anything that might be considered federal records. She also noted that her longtime associate and confidant Huma Aden had an email account on the same server. Aden's emails later resulted in further investigation into Clinton an investigation that many believe contributed to her loss in November's presidential election. Improve your day and watch, 7 Reasons American Trucks Are The Best. However, it seems that Aben is not finished yet. Judicial Watch published 448 additional pages of emails on Tuesday that claim to reveal additional questionable activity that took place within the Clinton-led State Department. Judicial Watch today released 448 pages of documents from the U.S. Department of State revealing new incidents of Huma Aden, Deputy Chief of Staff to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, providing special State Department treatment to major donors to the Clinton Foundation and political campaigns. The heavily redacted documents from Aden's non-government account include an email from Hillary Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, to Aden revealing that he acted as a go-between for a Clinton Foundation donor, Richard Park. And they reveal Clinton Foundation executive Doug Band instructing Aden to show love to Clinton donor Andrew Liveris. The documents included six Clinton email exchanges not previously turned over to the State Department, bringing the known total to date to at least 439 emails that were not part of the 55,000 pages of emails that Clinton turned over to the State Department, and further contradicting a statement by Clinton that, as far as she knew, all of her government emails had been turned over to the State Department. Judicial Watch noted that the emails outlined the continuing pattern of pay for play. In July 2009, in reference to the US China Strategic and Economic Dialogue, Clinton Global Initiative head Doug Ban told Aden that she needs to show love to Andrew Liveris, the CEO of Dow Chemical. Band also asked for Liveris to be introduced to Hillary and have her mention both me and WJC. Dow gave between $1 million and $5 million to the Clinton Foundation and Clinton Global Initiative. Band also pushes for Clinton to do a favor for Karl Heinz Kogel, a major Clinton Foundation contributor, who wanted Hillary Clinton to give the honor speech for his media prize to Merkel. The emails reveal that on June 19, 2009, Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, passed along a letter for Hillary Clinton for Clinton donor Richard Park. Park donated $100,000 to Bill Clinton as far back as 1993 and is listed by the Clinton Foundation as a $100,000 to $250,000 donor. On November 14, 2009, Clinton donor Ben Ringel, who has appeared in numerous prior emails asking for favors, emailed Aben to get help in getting an Iranian woman a visa to come to the United States. He writes, We need to get her clearance even only temporary to be with her granddaughter. Aben forwarded the request to Lauren Gillity, asking her can you help Monday with consular affairs? Gillity replies, Sure. We'll look into it. Ringel donated between $10,000 and $25,000 to the Clinton Foundation. In May, Band, working through Aben, attempts to help Canadian concert promoter and foundation donor Michael Cahill with the processing of a visa. 
Aiden passes the request to Monica Hanley, Clinton's confidential assistant. In addition to the free flow of information and requests for favors between the Clinton Foundation and the State Department, Judicial Watch claims that the emails also showed that at least one Clinton Foundation operative had a fair amount of influence over personnel decisions within the State Department as well. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton responded to the latest information dumped by questioning why a new investigation hasn't yet been opened. I'm not sure how much more evidence of pay-for-play, classified information mishandling, and influence peddling from Clinton's email server one would need to show a serious criminal investigation is required.